as genealogy sites like 23andMe and Ancestry.com are becoming more and more popular, millions of people are posting their ancestry information online. But now new research is showing exactly how, e how easy it is for law enforcement to use that information to target relatives who may have committed a crime. RT's Trinity Chavez explains. Police made headlines when a genealogy website helped them connect some crime scene DNA to a man they accused of being the so-called Golden State Killer, a serial rapist and murderer. And now a new study is revealing just how authorities are using genealogy databases to zero in on suspects. If you read the fine print, you're not only giving them the right to use your DNA for purposes of testing it for genealogy, you're giving them the right to use the DNA samples to market to other people. So you're foregoing your privacy rights by virtue of your consent form when you sign up for these tests, whether it be 23andMe or Ancestry DNA or any of the other uh, genealogy testing organizations. In the early 2000s, genetic testing started as a direct-to-consumer product that didn't require the help of a doctor. But now the consequences from that shift could impact everyone. By using genomic data of 1.28 million individuals tested with consumer genomic, researchers found that more than 60% of people with European ancestry can be identified by an anonymous DNA sample simply by using data from consumer genetic databases. The lead author told CNN, usually we think about paternity tests, you can find the father, you can find siblings, but with the advance of more powerful techniques in genomics, you can now actually identify third cousins, even fourth cousins in some cases. This percentage includes people who haven't undergone DNA testing themselves, and the authors of the research says that the number will grow as more and more people keep uploading their DNA to websites that use genetic analysis to find relatives. Authorities have already used such a database for criminal investigations. In April, the method made headlines when authorities announced that they used the genealogy website GEDmatch to catch the Golden State suspect after nearly 32 years after the killer's rampage ended by using DNA from the crime scene to conduct what is known as a long-range familial search. It was always going to be DNA that solved this case. So that was ultimately any investigation, that's where it was ultimately, ultimately going to lead. Since then, police around the country have started doing the same sort of thing to solve other cold cases. Searches typically start on genealogy websites by finding a relative associated with a DNA sample. Sleuths can then use other information such as publicly available family trees, public records, lists of survivors and obituaries, and other information that they can gather about the person who owns the DNA. By using this information, investigators can then build their own suspected family trees and identify someone whose DNA matches the original sample. The researchers say the technique could implicate any U.S. individual of European descent in the near future. Reporting in New York, Trinity Chavez, RT. Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more of RT America's one-of-a-kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe and never stop questioning more.